Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K video. Now, this video is about NBA 2K23, but you will be able to take this sauce into NBA 2K24 as well as be able to dunk on just about anybody that you want. Now, this was a question that came from the Discord. Shout out to um Bruv, you know what I'm saying? Sent sent over the, the 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 little Discord message. Um most of the time when I'm in my Discord, when I see little things that I need to reply to because we in May, no, make that June, and people are asking about what dunks they should equip. Most of the time it's from somebody who hasn't gotten the game at all and wants to actually try it out. Now, there was some news about 2K being added to, I think, PlayStation Plus. So for all those people who haven't played 2K at all, I mean, this might be the time, you know what I'm saying? Because you know this game is about to end and a new game is about to come out. So most of the time when PlayStation Plus is, you know what I'm saying, getting ramped up to take on 2K's uh, actual IP, that means that 2K24 is, or the next iteration is up next. But besides all that, let's talk about these dunks. I got the best dunks in the game, the best dunks for whatever build you choose most of the time a 86 driving dunk a 75 vert is needed okay needed so before you even decide yo i'm about to you know watch ipod video i'm about to make the best dunk package in the world make sure you have a at least a 86 driving dunk at least a 75 vertical and if you can't get that we got a lot to talk about but let's hop into the video King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. So first off, shout out to the homie New York Minute and the homie Snag. They helped me get the level 40 to get my mascot this season. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting the Coyote mascot. But you want to know what's funny about the Coyote mascot? I actually obliterated somebody that had on the Coyote mascot before I got mine. Here's the clip. Uh, go corner, flare up. Oh, yeah. Fuck oh, you, nigga. Oh, yeah. oh, Fuck out of here, nigga. Who need oh, a slash and tape? Not me. Coyote, <laughs> Not me. Hey, yo, chat. You somebody clip that shit. I needs one. that one. I needs that one. I needs that one. I needs that one, chat. I'm telling you. Now, I know what you're saying, bro. I know what you're saying. How is iPod doing this? Well, first off, let me tell y'all how, bro. Now, check it out. Attribute wise, I told you. 86 driving dunk that's all you need a 86 driving dunk will get you some of the best animations in the game let's go ahead and check out this dunk package that i want to tell you guys so much about all right so look this joint right here is crazy this package was created probably about two days after i created my build when i first made my 6-9 build i threw on quick drops real fast just so i could just dunk any time that i wanted and to make sure that i didn't get contested too often so that i can get certain badges once i got certain badges that i needed for my build i decided you know what it's time to cook up it's time to go ahead and get that sauce right so let's go ahead and talk about the cheese joint real fast now of course dunk style creator i 100 percent support using this feature now for people out there that just want to dunk like lebron dunk like westbrook if you're making replica builds and stuff like that which i don't i don't condone i don't like replica builds they don't perform as well as your own creations at the park in the rec in theater in pro-am but if you do create repli replica builds dunk packages for players names is perfectly fine but for everybody else that wants to score how they want to score, look how they want to look, and react to certain situations the way that they're going to react, you want to come to the um, Dunk Style Creator simply because I don't have to jump off of two feet ever. Ever. What I mean by that is I'm going to go through every single dunk, y'all. When I tell y'all, I don't jump off two feet except for contact dunks. <laughs> except for contact dunks. You, you already know why. It's a contact dunk. You have to equip it. But for every other dunk, I feel like dunking off two feet slows you down. Not only does it slow you down, it can trigger certain animations from someone who has a high anchor 
a high interior defense since they fixed it of course but most of the time i don't want to leave any of that up to chance so i don't jump off two feet all right and most of the time when it comes to my contact dunks a lot of my contact dunks happen off of one feet be well one foot simply because i'm so far away from the rim because of limited limitless takeoff now i will show my badges at the end of this video but let's go ahead and move on to the one foot movings now as far as one foot movings go these are the ones that i trust okay double clutch i used to love front clutches front clutches was really really dope but what i found out about front clutches was that it contradicted or you know messed up my quick drops so i had to take it off all right now as far as a two-hand dunk that you will always want in nba 2k is quick drops now of course there are cheesy quick drop animations like the one where you darn near look like you're flying from the free throw line of course but the other quick drops are just as valuable because you move so fast you get from point a to the rim instantaneous it feels like now as far as hangs there are cheesy moments in the game where you want to let your opponent know that you that shit so i advise you to throw on quick hang well athletic hangs off one okay simply because it's cheesy you get to be athletic and you get to hang on the rim you know what i'm saying and be toxic you will be i like a little toxicity in my life but back scratcher back scratchers off one i know what you're saying pod this 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 dunk gets blocked 100 percent of the time i don't know why you will ever throw back scratchers on what is wrong with you let me let you understand something i've been broadcasting and attending events for the nba 2k league and this dunk right here is one of the cheesiest it it's almost as cheesy as quick drops and it happens with two hands if you notice two hands is always for safety so if you don't like quick drops or you feel like it's too cheesy or or if you are playing in the stage or in a wager or a tournament and they ban quick drops guess what your backup dunk package will be back scratches off one keep that keep that keep that close to the vest now as far as reverses there are players in the game that are really really good at reverse dunking and i believe that baseline reverses off one is just the cheesiest when you're driving baseline and you want to make sure that you don't step out of bounds as well as you want to take off from further to get to the other side of the room this is the package for you okay now tomahawks you don't have to go with this package all right you don't have to use it at all but i recommend this package simply because if you are a stop and go player like me yes I, I run stop and go offense on iso you can't stop me i don't care who you are you can say what you want but this dunk will allow you to always know where the ball is going to be when you take off for that dunk so if you flick it to the right when you're driving right or you flick it to the left when you're driving left this dunk will trigger 90 percent of the time and and the reason why I have this package on is because if I do get contested, I do get him in midair, my dunk will change to a layup. And every single time that my dunk changes from a layup with this dunk package on, I make it 90% of the time because of the badges that I'll show you at the end of this video. Now, as far as flashy dunks and all of this stuff, I'm cool on the park dunks with the flashy. Most of the time, my part games turn very competitive, so I don't turn those on. Now, contact dunks, of course, throw on. You got to throw on the one handers. You just got to. You just got to. It just it just happens. You got to drag somebody to their death. So please drag them with off of one pro uh, contacts. Now let's talk about the standings. Now remember, I said I don't jump off two feet, right? I don't jump off two feet when I'm driving to the rim, but when I'm up under that rim, when I'm in that dead zone after an offensive rebound, things of that nature, regular one hands and two hands are perfect. Now, I, I would say you could go without the one hands, and I'm going to tell you why. The two hand um, dunks from under the rim, they trigger 70 to 80% more 
than the one-handers, which means if you're under the paint, you just grab the rebound, your player pump fakes, he only pump fakes with two hands. He never does the Jordan pump fake in the paint. Remember that. So when you actually are going up, your player will jump with the hand, both hands on the ball. So that two hand dunk will trigger way more than a one hand dunk. It's crazy, right? But that's just how the game plays. Now let's talk about signature dunks for a moment. I believe signature dunks can be used within all of that competitive dunking that I just showed you guys. And I'm gonna tell you why. Giannis, when driving from certain angles coming into the paint, you can trigger the Giannis dunk almost every time. And not only is it a Euro dunk, but it's a dunk that throws people off because you are still jumping off one foot, but the gather is slower, which means some people may jump early. And then when you gather and you dunking over people, they can jump with you all that it don't matter. You would dunk over them. You, the Giannis dunk package never turns into a layup when it goes up. It never turns. It's going to be a dunk on them every single time. Now, the next one, Clyde Drexler. Now, let me let y'all understand something. The dunk where he puts both of his feet to his ass, that ain't the dunk you want. You want the dunks that look like uber athletic tomahawks. And I know you looking at them right now. You're like, yo, I didn't know Clyde could fly like that. Those are the dunks you want. He does them from two places on the court. He does them coming down the middle, right? So if you're on a fast break and somebody's behind you, if you have limitless takeoff on gold, you're going to fly. Also, if you're in a corner and you pump fake somebody or you're at the wing and you drive right towards the rim, not left, because if you drive left, you're going to be coming more towards the middle of the court. But if you drive from the wing to the right, you know what I'm saying? When you're on the right side, he does another uber athletic tomahawk dunk from that side. And a lot of people just can't get it. You, you move way too fast. It's a beautiful dunk, and I advise you guys to put it on. Now, alley oops. Go ahead and equip everything. Just do it. Just do it. The more options you have to catch an alley oop dunk, the better you are in certain situations because somebody may be in the paint, somebody may be trailing. It's a whole bunch of stuff that can go on. Now, I know you guys are like, oh, you don't have elite contacts or small contacts or big contacts. I'm not worried about that. All you need is a couple pro contacts to catch somebody sleeping to dunk on somebody when they think they can jump with you. And I'm talking all you six, three and under guards out there. Stop jumping with me because you can. Now, with that being said, I'm going to put the controller down for a moment. I would like to say thank you for watching this video. I know it's not over. I just wanted to thank you. Make sure that you guys hit that like button. It really helps the channel is what they're telling me about that YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and you know I'm saying run, run them likes up. Can I can I get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand? I don't know. A couple thousand badges. Now I have a badge point that I'm not gonna use right now. You know, that's for hitting level 39 this season. You feel me? But my packages now. I have to make a more in-depth video about badges and I'll tell you why real quick. I have many different badge setups for many different instances. I am not just a six, nine point guard. I'm a corner. I'm a hash. I'm a lock. I'm a swing. And sometimes I even run big, but we'll talk about that later. Now, as far as the dunking badges that you need, man it's just it's just such a beautiful thing here it's just it's just so beautiful i don't need to core one badge to dunk the ball i have all the badges i need in order to make my player fly posterizer on silver is basically all you need to make sure you get certain contact animations in certain situations fearless finisher on gold one of the most underrated badges because now that 2K is trying to tweak the interior defense and, and playing with bigs badges, you get knocked out of your animations a little bit more towards the end of this year. So you need Fearless Finisher to absorb that contact and still finish with a layup or even finish a dunk over people. All right. Limitless takeoff on goal. 
the best badge in the game. You can take off from two steps inside the three point line. I kid you not. Literally, a lot of people would be like, yo, dude didn't even take a dribble. I know, <laughs> I know. Literally <laughs> launched <laughs> missile, <laughs> dunked on, <laughs> can't catch me, can you? It's just limitless takeoff. Slithery. Slithery on gold is one of the best badges because not only do you have fearless finisher to absorb contact and take and finish that, Slithery lowers the chance of that contact which allows you to maneuver a little bit more to trigger the limitless takeoff to get to the room for a posterizer. It's so insane how badges can help you not get ripped, lower the actual defense coming towards you. And then you have other badges to supplement if that badges fails just a smidge, isn't it? I'm out of here. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. If anybody has any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, I can do a uh, shooting, uh, John. I can do dribbling, John. I can do all of that. Just let me know what type of videos you guys want. Um, also, if you aren't in the Discord, um, make sure that you check. I think check the description. That might be a link there. I might even put it inside the comment section. You never know. But I appreciate y'all so much, man. IKC Nation. I will see y'all when I go live on Twitch as well. I'm out of here. Peace.